So are you thinking about leaving San Jose, moving out of Silicon Valley, and is Nashville, Tennessee on your short list? Well, today I'm going to interview one of my longtime dear friends, Jody Moore, who also happens to be a realtor there. We are going to talk about real estate, lifestyle, what Nashville is all about. So stick around for that. And remember, after the interview, I always break down some of the information in some slide format so you can really compare kind of cost of living between San Jose area and the Nashville area. And I will also provide some links to some really great free information. So stick around. Gosh, Jody, I'm embarrassed to say, I don't know how long we've been friends. It's been since the 90s, right? It has to be over, oh my gosh, it's probably almost 30 years now. Yikes. Okay. So we met way back when, when the Sharks were just starting at the new arena in San Jose. I can't remember if Jay, your husband, was with the Sharks even at the Cow Palace, right? Easy. Yeah. So when my ex-husband Jamie started, we were at the new arena. So that's how we became friends. And all these years later, and I don't know how many more teams you guys played on, but you ended up in Nashville with the Predators. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. It's been fun. We've been here since 98, the first year that the Preds won here. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't even remember that. So first year you were in two expansion teams. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was fun. So you've been in Nashville since 98? It is crazy how their time is going. And so then when did you get into real estate there? Probably about 15 years ago when I took a little break in the middle, and now I've been back at it for 10 years. Oh, my gosh. Okay, great. So what is going on in real estate there? Well, where we are, is we've had so many people move in from other areas. And, in fact, my last three have all moved from California to here. So where we are in Williamson, It's just grown so much. It's just taken off, and that's that's kind of where I predominantly work is Williamson County, but other areas, Davidson County, where we, which is where Nashville is, most of it's Davidson County. Um, that's also just taken off too. In Williamson County, there's like Brentwood, Franklin, Arrington are the little cities that people move into, and our our median price range there is probably high fives, almost six hundred thousand dollar homes. Wow. And Nashville, Davidson County more around 400. Okay. And so when you're saying it's growing, are there just new housing communities going all over that kind of building or is it more custom building or maybe both? There's both. I, there's definitely both. I work in a subdivision in, in Arrington where it's all new construction, custom building, but there's everything. Every little pocket is, is just expanding. Wow. And so how uh, are a lot of these communities gated or are they just sort of open areas or some of them yeah williamson county has a lot of gated communities but um there's a lot of open areas too and so the county you predominantly work in you just said williamson williamson okay. yeah so how far is that say to downtown nashville so brentwood if you lived in the city of brentwood you're about 20 minutes from downtown nashville and oh, about that to the airport too oh perfect So, I mean, if you're within 45 minutes, pretty much, yeah. you have to worry a lot about traffic. Yeah, you have to talk about the size of your lot, and you can, you can complain about really, it's, it's managed pretty well. Oh, gosh, okay. Yeah. Um, and so let's say, well, tell me a little bit, like, say, your last couple of California clients, have they tended to go to the same area, or are they picking different areas? No. Arrington's a little bit further south even than Franklin, and it's just a really small little town that's just grown a lot. It's um, we have like Arrington Vineyards out here. It's kind of like the main the main focal point out in Arrington, I guess. So, like, do people um, go wine tasting? You mean, or just like a vineyards area? Oh, fun! Yeah, so it's a big place to go tasting there. It's it's really nice. Um, and then my other California client was in Bellevue. So that's closer to the Nashville area. So really, they're just all over. We've just had so many. So many and what's like an average lot size most people are buying, say? Really all over. We're probably more half-acre lots in 
Brentwood, um, they're one acre lots, but in Arrington, Franklin, quarter acre, half acre. Okay. And then in Nashville, they're even smaller, mostly quarter acre to a point three of an acre. Okay. And are certain areas known more for better schools? So if people have little kids and are thinking of moving there, is it tend to gravitate? Yeah, Williamson County definitely has has really good schools. They're all top ten schools. And that's yeah. Yeah. And so let's say there's family of four moving, they still have kids, you know, in school. They want a four bedroom, two and a half bath on half an acre. How much, how big about is the house size? Like 2,000 square feet, 3,000 square feet, and what about is the price? Yeah, so probably if you're looking at maybe 3,000 square feet would be the average. And Brentwood's price range is up in the nines, mid nines. Okay. Is probably, it's a little bit less than that, maybe like 600,000. Okay. And then out in Arrington, we're mid eights. Okay, so basically you're looking northwards of 600 for the most part. You're not going to, I mean, maybe if someone doesn't have kids, they're downsizing and they want to be closer to town, they could find something a little bit less, but. Yeah, that was there's just, a lot going on downtown where they're, it's fine. You didn't, it'd be ideal if you didn't have kids to live downtown, just right in the middle of everything with, in, in, with the music and everything down there, that would be nice. And is that kind of like the main social thing people talk about doing is going downtown listening to music or are people into boating or hiking? Is there a lot of that, those kind of activities too? I think music definitely is the draw, but there is a lot of lake. Um, Old Henry Lake is local. That's where there's like Party Cove and there's a lot going on there. Center Hill Lake is only an hour away. A lot of people go there for the weekend. That's like their lake house. Okay. And that's only an hour away. So, And then Smoky Mountains are right here too. They're two and a half hours. That's where Dollywood is. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, so we also have the snow in the mountains not too far. Oh, wow, that. only two hours. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so fun. We get snow in Nashville. Like, we, maybe a little bit in January, it gets, it gets colder, and we get a little bit of snow, but other than that, we don't really get a lot of it right here. Okay. And how about the humidity? Does it still get pretty humid in the summers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just part of living yeah, kind of anywhere on the East Coast. <laughs> oh, still crazy hot. Here, if you, you know, have a great house in a good location, good school district, and it's remodeled, um, you know, it sells within a week or two, multiple offers still. Um, I think the median home price in Santa Clara County right now is around 1.3. Um, Yeah. I just sold one in Sunnyvale. It was a total original house from the 60s. I mean, completely original. It was in good shape. Four bedroom, two bath. You know, nice little backyard and stuff, but it was 2.3. Yeah, see, here, I mean, for, I guess that's why people come from California. You can buy a brand new, new construction, pretty much pick out what you want and still be under a million on a half acre lot. It's just that I can see now why that's so popular yeah I mean really so many younger families just get so priced out quickly here um but what, what's the market like there in terms of you know let's say someone is from you know San Jose Silicon Valley area and they're looking online they like a house and they want to plan a trip in you know month to come meet with you and look at houses will that house still be available or will yeah they're not going that fast the houses aren't listed but they especially new construction homes may sit on the market a little longer in um in some of the areas like in nashville and i know even in brentwood they're going quickly within a few days of being listed oh wow so um just is that kind of the higher end like if it's really gorgeous and really set it goes super fast yeah and in those areas like brentwood and franklin and those sort of desirable areas i guess for schools and stuff those are going quicker than the surrounding areas okay yeah. and do you feel like there there are just a lot of people moving from out of state yeah, everywhere. I, I know I mentioned the last two were from California, but really Chicago, New York, Ohio. We've had just people from everywhere. Wow. A lot of jobs, but I think a lot of it's too just people want to change. Right. And, you know, Tennessee is so great. No state income tax. That always yes. helps. Although I do, you do get taxed on dividends and interest earned, but 
that's nothing compared to most states. Yeah, yeah, to have those savings checks, that's really, that's really a draw too. Yeah. Um, well, I'm so excited we got to see each other and talk. <laughs> Thank <Absolutely>. you. <laughs> and so, gosh, any time someone asks me about Nashville, I always think of you, Jody. And hopefully, we can share some clients. And that's the way I tell other people where when they move out of state, it's so much easier when your realtors can work together. We work with the title companies, any lenders, and we just keep the stress off the clients. Um, yeah. Especially you and I, gosh, I don't, I think you've actually moved maybe more than I have. You've moved a lot too. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. I lost track a long time ago. Um, Anyway, well, thank you for the information. All Jody's contact is below. If you want to reach out directly, please do. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon, Jody. Thanks a lot. Here's a breakdown of some of the basics. Remember that weather looks comparable, but it does get humid in the summer. So there you go. I hope that helped give you an idea about Nashville and the housing and where you might possibly think about living. Call Jody for specifics about your situation. And at the beginning, I also told you I had a couple freebies that I would tell you about. I have a couple links below. First is seven tips to get your house ready for sale, if you're thinking about selling here. Uh, Second link is if you have a house, you don't want to do anything to get it ready for sale. Maybe there's a lot of deferred maintenance. Maybe it's pretty outdated in the inside. Maybe it's full of stuff in the yard and in the house, and you just don't even know where to begin to get it ready for sale, but you still need to get top dollar. Well, I can get you multiple cash offers. These buyers would be willing to give you the money and close out in seven to 10 days. But as I said, I get you multiple bids. So you know, you're still getting top dollar. So let's say you get your cash in the bank in 10 days, but if you need a little bit more time, maybe you need another month to actually get out. They'll give you that. You can stay in the house for free even. And you just pack your bags, pack what boxes you want to take. You're gone in a month. They come in, they get rid of everything for you. And you get to turn the page and be on the next chapter of your life. So if you have any real estate related questions from Silicon Valley, call me, reach out to me, text me, whatever. I'm here to be a resource for you. And until next time, have a great one.